Good morning, Prince Media. This is Tiger Cry News. I'm Dressa. And I'm Jack. Today is Tuesday, October 5th, 2021, week five. Good news shout out from Miss Kish to Kaden. Kaden has been doing such a great job in our fourth grade class. He has been working hard in math class and showing Tiger Pride to his classmates. Keep up the great work, Kaden. Riddle of the day. I am an odd number, take away a letter, and I become even. What number am I? Seven. Oh, the word seven, S-E-V-E-N, take away S and you have even. That does make sense. Homecoming week. Tomorrow's Lumberjack Day. Leave your ax, chainsaw, and blue ox at home. Those are good, those are good tips. Yes, definitely leave any axes or chainsaws or your babes or blue ox at home, but wear your flannel tomorrow. Uh, speaking of good tips, uh, Tiger Pride tip of the day. So this week you're learning about uh, what it means to be assertive. I'm going to give you some tips on how to do that. It's a great way to show Tiger Pride. So when you're to be assertive, you're facing the person when you're talking to them. You're keeping your head up and your shoulders back. Have some confidence. You use a calm and firm voice. And you use respectful words. <clears throat> so an example would be you could be assertive when someone, maybe you see someone teasing a friend. Um, you can be a sort of simply by going to them, facing them, um, using a calm, firm voice, and just simply telling them to stop. Use that stop sign. Maybe you need some help in class. It's really important if you need help to ask for help. So being assertive and saying um, to the to your teacher, who a staff member who may be there, just letting them know, hey, I could use some help with this, um, and just be respectful about it. Or maybe you have a classmate interrupting when you're trying to answer questions in a small group and you're getting really frustrated. It's important to tell them to, hey, stop interrupting. Um, and then, you know, once your turn, you'll have a chance to, to answer. So just tips and being assertive. You can be assertive. Assertive is a positive thing if you do it respectfully. Back to Jack and Dressa. Birthdays for the, today. Ray Kroc started a chain of McDonald's restaurants. I've heard of McDonald's. Lunch for today. Chicken patty sandwich or jam sandwich. Smiley face potatoes. Raw veggies. Fruit. Milk. Time of the show where I share my screen. We're going to look at a coyote today. Now, we're actually going to look at several coyotes. Now, I want to do a little disclaimer. Part of what we show is all about science, right? And so we're going to see a coyote doing something that may seem kind of, I don't know, funny or you may not sure how to react, but there'll be a coyote doing what coyotes do on the field. And what's cool about it, not so much that part of it, but there's some other coyotes that are drawn to that. All right, so here are some coyotes at the uh, refuge area. So this first one is just, a, I think it's a younger coyote. I'm not positive. It, it didn't stick around to tell me how old it was, but kind of fun to see this um, animal here out at the refuge. Kind of wandering around there. Doing its thing. It looked at one point like it wanted to cross the little stream there, but wasn't sure how to do it. So it ended up walking around. Um, so I could just get a drink and just leaving the area there. I'm um, gonna go for a little bit here. So it looks like it wants to jump across, but it's not really up for it. Here's the part that may be kind of funny in some respects or interesting, but that does happen. That's what coyotes do out in the field there. If you've ever walked to the refuge, you've seen that error that happened before. Sometimes you'll find um, or see um, bones or fur in that, um, what they leave behind sometimes out at the refuge, just like a regular dog, kind of doing like what regular dogs do. What's kind of funny is afterwards, you get some other dogs coming around, or not dogs, other coyotes coming around, and just kind of checking out the area, um, leaving their marks behind. And now we're going to see a group of like four of them come by that same area, kind of checking it out. Um, part of it is how they communicate with each other too. And so here's, there's the fourth one, just kind of in the same area. Um, so they kind of know that there've been other coyotes around that area. And then there's one last one I wanna share with you, it's kind of fun. Um, this is, I'm gonna go ahead a little bit. There's a, um, there's a beaver out on this water by this coyote. 
and you saw that the coyote gets scared when the beaver splashed his tail. Anyway, some cool stuff out at the refuge. I'll stop sharing my screen and turn it back to you, Jack and Dressa. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Tiger Pride is worldwide.